And I would just get frustrated and overreact to those comments just because of my state at that time, I guess. Probably deep down because I knew it wasn't right and I knew she was right. You referenced your wife, uh, Abby, with yep. me um, before we hit record here. What was she saying to you about this very noticeable weight gain over those years? Yeah, I think she was, uh, she mentioned a thing or two. She, she unfortunately was uh, tiptoeing around a lot of those conversations. Cause I would overreact if, if she would bring something up around, um, my, you know, my drinking or my, this or that, um, I would have an overreaction to it. So I, she was unfortunately tiptoeing around those conversations, having them whenever she felt like she could, but, um, she definitely is one of the main reasons that, um, I started to make this change, um, her and my, my two little ones, um, so I, I am just forever grateful for her for continuing to push me and, and bring that up to me. May I ask you to la- elaborate a little on how she would try to broach the subject with you? Like, what would she say? And then can you give us an example of, in more specificity, if you would, on how you would react? And I think this is an interesting question, and I'm interested in your answer, because this is a very common thing that happens with spouses who are married or partnered with someone who either is drinking too much yeah. or is letting themselves slide or drift, how does someone, you know, really broach the subject without the partner reacting as opposed to responding? And it seems like you're suggesting that you did react as opposed to respond. So if I just ask the question, you know, how would she broach the subject and then how did you react? Yeah, so I'll give you a couple um, small examples, and then maybe we can go, you know, a little larger after that. But just uh, specific things like out to dinner, and I would order my third glass of wine, and she'd make a comment like, "Do you really need that? Like, do our, what do we like? Why? Why do you need that?" And I would, I would say, "Oh, it's Friday, or oh, you know, it's been a rough week, or just, you know, this is." I would say, "This is normal. This is just, you know, just let me be. This is, it's fine." Um, but that's a specific situation where, you know, you could say that in every every scenario, right? Like out at a party or coming home from something like a dinner and then pouring a drink after that. It's like, really, what's the point? Um, and I would just get frustrated and overreact to those comments just because of my state at that time, I guess. Um, and probably deep down because I knew it wasn't right and I knew she, she was right. Um, so yeah, that, that's what comes to mind with it. But it is, I, I see it now that I'm where I am um, with other couples and you can see people, they don't want to approach it. Um, it is hard for people to ask those questions or to to really push someone in, dire- in a direction because ultimately that person has to want to do something and make a change. Was it Abby's questioning that led you to book a call with our organization, Alcohol Free Lifestyle, as far back as 2021? Or was it something that you decided you were going to do yourself without her probing, without her questioning, without her seemingly disapproval? No, she definitely helped get me there. Um, It was, it was a, you know, one conversation that multiple conversations, but one in particular that stands out that I knew, it was time for me to just make some changes. And um, I just looked online at something that could potentially help me and found found your program. So, mm. Is there something specifically that she said in that conversation that really did get you moving in to action and booking the call? Um, well, she actually, um, so it was after a weekend, or I, yeah, it was after a weekend and I, you know, I kind of went out and, Party, party a little too much. Um, and she had, with her or without? No, her? without her. I was, I was with gone. Friends or? Yeah, I was gone for the weekend. Um, with friends and uh, yeah, she actually um, called my parents and talked to them about it, which I was uh, not happy with. But uh, nothing but love and respect for for Abby and my parents. So when all three of them sat down with me and said, Hey, we, whatever the, whatever this is, we just want you to figure it out. You know, whether it's, you know, whether it is a problem quote, or it's 
you just, we want you to get healthier. We want you to be the best version of yourself. And having that conversation, I was like, yep, I, I agree. Was that almost like what they call an intervention? Yeah. Yeah. You could say an intervention of sorts. Yeah. Did you walk in and they were sitting on the sofa facing you and go, Sit no, there. no, it wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> quite like that, but like cl close enough. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I mean, you know, and it's, it's, uh, whenever you're, you're loved, you know, the people you love the most are saying, Hey, we're seeing that this is not you, um, from a habits character perspective, because I wasn't always being honest, you know, with, with Abby and others. So, mm. uh, we know that's not who you are. Something's got to change. Mm-hmm.